and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got some brand new 1030 content. I'm super hyped to go over all of it, honestly, guys. I did not think we'd be getting as much stuff as we did end up getting because prior to this morning, it did not look like we'd be getting much. We didn't know we'd be getting house rules, which I'm about to go over for you guys after we go over the first part that I have to go over. But they did announce something pretty cool that we were not exactly expecting. Now, if you guys know, EA has been not too great with power ups this year. This has been known, guys. EA has been kind of behind in terms of power ups. We haven't gotten as many as we should. A lot of great players have been kind of held down by the fact that we haven't gotten power ups. Like a guy like Kyler Murray hasn't been able to be used to well because we haven't gotten any. But for the first time in quite a while, EA is dropping some more power ups. I'm super excited, guys. So we got new power ups. We got solo battle house rules, tons of free coins, packs, and everything. Ultimate Legend set pieces, and much, much more. Real quick, there will be a special stream this Thursday that they just announced, which should be whatever, the 20th, 21st. So pretty much all you guys gotta know about that is it could be team, it could be team MVPs, it could be the combine promo. We're not sure yet. More than likely, I, I want to say combine, but team MVPs hasn't come yet. So let's go with that one, guys. That's why I didn't enjoy the rest of the video. Go over all that, guys. Before we get into the video, do remember one thing: we will be continuing our like giveaway goal. So guys, we gotta up it a little bit because you guys did go crazy. I will be announcing the winners tomorrow. But for today's video, guys, keep this quick and short. Every 70 likes will be 10k given away. So if we get 700 likes. 100k given away. You guys had a thousand already in the other one, so I'm giving away a ton of coins right now. All you need to enter is be subscribed to the channel, comment down below your number of like you are. If you're 5, 10, 100, doesn't matter, and like the video to confirm that you liked. And guys, remember we are 50 subscribers about away from 20,000 subscribers. So make sure if you guys are new, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Let's make it happen. You guys can be the last 50 people in the 20k gang. Now, guys, let's get on over to uh, the power, the whatever screen. I'm going to head on over, look at all the new power-ups, guys. Do not forget to enter the giveaway. Very short and simple, and I will be announcing the winners for yesterday's tomorrow, so let's make this happen. Right, guys, so here are the new power-ups. Now, I know this one right here you probably can't really see too well, but I want to keep my camera up. I'll show you guys in a second. So over here, we got Austin Eckler, number overall 68. They're all going to 68 overalls. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, guys, Austin Eckler, not the most important one because we didn't really get too many great cards. At this point, like, Austin Eckler's not that usable for many people, unless you're on a Chargers team team. Mark Andrews is decent because he did have a few Team of the Week cards. He's a decent one. We got Arik Armstead, which is actually really good because he did get an LTD card, which means you can now power up him and even use your power pass on his other LTD card we got for the Super Bowl. Devin Bush, super solid card, guys, because obviously a lot of us have him as a rookie premiere, but you guys have to also realize that we also have him as a regular card. So if you do get his regular card, not just his rookie premiere, he's a really great linebacker. Would I power him up if I have him as a rookie premiere? Probably not. I'll make do with what I can, but... Still great. Jair Alexander did get, I believe, a Christmas card. 68 overall cornerback. Can be powered up. This one's not the most exciting because obviously you can't really probably use him right about now. But you could maybe get a combine card. Could get another promo card. Next we got Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin did get a team of the year card. So for all you Chris Godwin fans out there, he will be getting a pretty nice card going in to this brand new like season of Madden. And he did have the team of the year card. So you can use him, power him up, cap him up. Next we got Raheem Mostert. Now Raheem Mostert's a really, really good one. Now, to let you guys know why, he has like a 95 or 96 speed on a Super Bowl card. Now, you could power him up, get him to like a 97, 98 speed. So, you're going to be able to make a pretty godly, super fast running back. Now, especially if you have his Nat card, which is, this is really good for people who had him Nat. And there's more comments to come, as you guys can see. Next, one of the most exciting ones is Kyler Murray. Now, guys, Kyler Murray got an, a limited time NFL Honors rookie, offensive rookie of the year card, which was kind of annoying to use because he didn't get all the chems he could initially get because... He wasn't a power-up card. Now, this Kyler Murray now becomes significantly better with this power-up card, guys. So now, if you want Kyler Murray as a quarterback, he's looking super solid now. I'm heading over to the Madden auction block right now to find his stats. Kyler Murray, 96. You power up and chem him up. You can get him up to a 96 speed with Sprinter. 96 speed, which makes him probably the fastest quarterback in Madden right about now. You can get him up to about a 97 throw power. You can get his throw deep like a 95, throw short. His throw on the run is going to be a 99. This Kyler Murray card now becomes one of the best quarterbacks in Madden. And it's not even that close. He's right up there now with Lamar Mahomes because he can be powered up. That's what he was missing before. Guys, this is super good. And you can use your power pass now on him. So that means you can get Kyler Murray, which is your 96 power pass, which means he's now an awesome, awesome quarterback. Compared to the other Lamar, he's going to be significantly better. Not than the MVP Lamar, but then his blitz card before. So if you can't get MVP Lamar, this could be the next upgrade for you guys until the new card for the... Um, 
Michael Vick comes out. Next up, Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters did recently get a card. Now, I believe it was a Super Bowl uh, pass card. Would I recommend you guys get him and power him up? Probably not. He wasn't that great on that card to begin with, but still a pretty awesome card overall. And if you guys want to use him, that's pretty awesome. And now Sammy Watkins, 68 overall. For the Chiefs, now, the awesome part about Sammy Watkins, again, guys, is going to be that he is a part of the Super Bowl set. So for all you guys who did the Super Bowl present set and got Raheem Mostert, you guys got Sammy Watkins. You can now power up Watkins, too, and Watkins' power up is going to be a beast as well. That's kind of one of the things he was missing. So a lot of you guys who got those Nat cards, you guys are looking pretty good right now. You're going to get a lot of free stuff and a lot. You can really upgrade your cards now. You can get well, Mostert to, like, a 98 overall. Now you can get Sammy Watkins to almost a 97, 98 overall just by powering up and chemming up. They're going to become really, really, really good, especially when you're in a theme team. That's going to help you guys even more. But other than that, still solid overall. Super excited for this. Now, some other big news, guys. They are announcing a new solo sequence tomorrow, the Power Struggle solo sequence. So to make this even better for you guys, you guys are probably thinking, right, how oh, they're going to be super expensive tomorrow. Not so fast. They did announce that they're releasing Power Up solos tomorrow that guarantee you every one of those Power Up cards. So as you guys see here, every single one of them here will have their own solo sequence. So Marcus Peters, Raheem Mostert, Chris Godwin, Mark Andrews, Bush. So let's say you want Kyler Murray. Instead of having to pay 100 k for him tomorrow or having to pull him, simple. You just go ahead. You go down to the Kyler Murray solo sequence. You go play it. It starts in the third quarter. It's a moments, super quick, and you can get all of them. You can even get all of them and just sell them. If you go, if you do them quickly, you probably sell them for a decent amount of coins, but they're going to be really cheap after probably like 30 minutes to an hour. But it's very cool that they did that because typically when a new power-up drops, it's like, oh, wow, there's new power-ups, but you have to wait a week for people to pull them, then for them to come down in price, and they might never come down in price because they're so rare because they just came out. People aren't playing as much nowadays or pulling as many packs. But this is perfect. Now you guys can easily go ahead and get all the power-ups you want and go over everything you guys need to go. Now let's go over the new solo battles house rules before we get on out of this video, guys, because this is super important and a big part of this video as well. And that's going to be it's going to be right down here, as you guys can see. So the way it works, there's no specific like rules or anything that I can see from right here. I'm gonna go out to check in a second, but here are the rewards. So the rewards that change are right here, the HR. These are the house rules rewards. So starting from the bottom, if you guys just come in and play, you get a thousand coins. You guys get Rookie, which is only like one game one. You guys get 3,000 coins, 10 trophies. Let's get all the way up to HR Pro. So for the first House Rules reward, you will be getting an 86 overall Ultimate Legend plus the Pro rewards. Then for the Veteran rewards, you do get 13,000 coins, 20 trophies. HR Veteran, you get 87, an 87 overall Ultimate Reward, Ultimate Legend plus Veteran rewards. Then if you come on up to Star, you get 21,000 coins. Now for the HR one, you will be getting 88 overall Ultimate Legend. Which again, super, super solid. As we move on up some more, we get to the MVP, which is HR MVP, House Wars MVP, 92 overall Ultimate Legend. So you're getting a free Ultimate Legend 92 overall right there. And as you get on up to HR Legend, which is the final tier, it's going to be a 94 Ultimate Legend. Now, guys, if my if my memory serves me correctly, when it comes to solo battles, to get legend tier, all you need to do is win every single game. I don't think you don't, have, you don't really have to try, you have to win every game. As long as you get a win, you're pretty much good to go. But the only thing I do know here is that this one right here, HR Legend, this one could be a little bit harder because I'm pretty sure 300,000 might actually require you to get a little more than just winning. You might have to actually play pretty well. But I know 250 right here, this is usually just winning. So as of now, you can easily get up all the way to a 92 overall Ultimate Legend, MVP rewards, and you can even get the Legend rewards right here, which is tons of, you get two Red Zone packs, which quick sell for like 65,000 each. You get two Midfield packs, which I believe quick sell for like 9,000 each, and you get two Hail Mary packs, plus 44,000 uh, coins, plus 60 trophies. So you're gonna get a ton of trophies, a ton of coins, tons of packs, and free Ultimate Legend set piece. Now, if you get this one right here, 94, you pretty much have the top Legend set piece of a certain Legend. So you can go ahead and easily get the player that you're going to want. Now, as we go on up some more, these are the top 100s. Don't worry about these. These top 100 rewards really aren't significant to um, the average player. These are going to be super hard to get. These are going to be people with like eBooks and people who know exactly what they're doing. It's going to be a lot harder for you guys than you guys probably think. But the HR Legend is going to be kind of like the peak for the house rule type rewards. These are just the regular rewards. Now, there should be some kind of house rules incentive here. Let's see if there is one. There usually is. Let's go over to missions and see, is there a house rules or anything? I do not see one. So there might be. I did see something about cooldown again with like certain types of plays. I don't know how they're going to do that in house rules, but I did see it. I don't know if it's actually going to apply because I'm not seeing anything. But guys, that pretty much does wrap up the video. I hope that you guys are... Uh, Hope this was a good content day for you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy. And if you guys know how solo battles works, you just pretty much go play offline games against computers and you play them. And if you win, you get a certain amount of points scored. It's very, very simple. Hope you guys enjoy. Remember, if you are new to the channel, make sure you're going to blow. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Come join the family. Let's get to 20K as quickly as possible. If you're new here, always hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. Every 70 likes will be another 10K earned. So every like, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, comment down below, and comment down below the number like you are. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace. Peace.